Oh my goodness. Oh, we're live. What's up, you sons of bitches? Should I have said that? Am I going to get age restricted? I don't know. I'm in the thick of um, Sundance right now. No one's watching this, and it doesn't matter. I'm going to keep doing it anyway. We got some Taco Bell wings that I'm going to try here. The new Taco Bell wings. And we're going to talk about some Oscars nominations really quick. I haven't seen them. I got spoiled on a couple because I follow some accounts on, you know, Instagram and such. So I know Brandon Fraser's up for Best Actor, but who didn't see that coming? So, you know, that's fine. All right, let's try these wings first. It was an absolute shit show to get these things, but <laughs> they're pretty righteous. Wow, okay. All right. All right, must, done, must be done chewing here. Taco Bell wings, pretty good. Absolute mess. Sorry. All right. All right, am I still live? I don't even know. Hang on, let me fix it. Okay, I think we're good. Jesus Christ. All right, this is an absolute mess. But we're going to talk about the Oscars now. I just searched Oscar or Academy Award nominations. We're going to go through this and uh, see what we got. Best Actor is Brendan Fraser for The Whale, Austin Butler for Elvis, Colin Farrell for The Banshees of Inna Sharon, Bill Nye for Living, and Paul Mescal for After Sun. Pretty good list, honestly. I haven't seen Living and honestly don't really intend on seeing Living. It looks boring as shit. Uh, it was a Sundance movie last year, oddly enough, that I avoided last year as well. It just doesn't look that interesting to me. Maybe I'll watch it. I don't know. I'm sure he's good in it. I think Bill Nye's a great actor, but this is a decent list. It's pretty much expected. Paul Mescal's great in After Sun. Brendan Fraser is should win, though. I think Brendan Fraser is going to win, and I think he should win. Colin Farrell is fantastic, though. It's too bad that Brandon Fraser had such a great performance because he's he's great in that. But next one, Best Actress, um, Andrea Risenborough for Two Leslie, Michelle Williams for The Fablemans, Kate Blanchett for Tar, Ana de Armas for Blonde, and Michelle Yeoh for Everything Everywhere All at Once. Another pretty expected list. I haven't seen Two Leslie though, and I think Ana de Armas, while good in Blonde, probably shouldn't be here because that's just not a good movie at all. I don't know. I mean, she's fine in it, but I, I think you could figure out a different actor to put there, or actress, I mean. I, why don't they just say best actor? It just make, it's so annoying to me. But now I can't really think of another actress off the top of my head that was great. Uh, yeah, it's a fine, fine list. The Academy Awards, man, I don't know. Best Animated Feature, Turning Red, Guillermo del Toro's Pinocchio, Marcel Deschel with Shoes On, The Sea Beast, and Puss in Boots. Sea Beast is gross. I don't like seeing that here. Uh, wait. I'm surprised that, uh, that Disney movie. What's that Disney movie that just came out? Oh, Strange World that no one saw. I'm kind of surprised that's not here because Disney loves putting their stuff on there. I mean, Turning Red's here, but Puss in Boots is awesome. Here's the thing. Puss in Boots is the best movie here. It's legitimately great. It should win. It won't win because both Disney movie is here and Disney loves themselves. Turning Red it probably has a higher chance. And Guillermo del Toro's Pinocchio is great. And um, I've been getting requests to talk about Guillermo del Toro's Pinocchio. And uh, yeah, it's good. Moving on. That's it. That's all I'm going to say about it. I got to keep the thing. I international feature film. All Quiet on the Western Front, Argentina 1985, The Quiet Girl, Close, and EO. A lot of these aren't actually out for me yet. EO, I think, is coming out this week or something. I don't remember for me. So I, I haven't seen most of these. I've seen Argentina 1985. I've seen All Quiet on the Western Front. And the Western Front is fantastic. It's the best movie here. And I think it will win. Uh, I've been spoiled on a couple other categories like sound. And of course that's there because the Academy loves putting freaking any war movie in the sound category. If a gun is going off in a movie, best sound. The Academy is clapping for them. This is the best sound. Wow. Best sound. Every freaking year this happens. I, I swear to God, every year there's a war movie. Even if it's complete dog shit, they're like, yes, oh my, he shot a gun. Ah. It's fine. It's all fine. Best director. 
Martin McDonough, the Banshees of Inna Sheeran, Todd Field Tar, Ruben Osland. Wow, okay. T Triangle of Sadness, the Daniels for Everything Everywhere All at Once, and Steven Spielberg, another very expected list. Uh, Ruben Osland is a bit of a surprise, I guess. Triangle of Sadness is not a very good movie. I'm gonna be real. I don't really, I didn't really like the uh, Triangle of Sadness. I think I gave it a seven, so it's a good review, a uh, positive review, because it is a well-made movie. It's a good movie. But it's just not one I will ever watch again. I've forgotten most of it already. And most of what it's doing is pretty on the nose. So I don't know. It's a weird one. I, it, it's, I don't know if it deserves to be in the directing list. He, he, he does a good job, but Robert Eggers is around. You could nominate him for Northman. Northman was fantastic. The direction is fantastic in that. Hmm. I think North Northman is going to absolutely get uh, railroaded here, though. I don't think I I don't expect to see it at all, which is too bad. I mean, it flopped horribly. And the word of mouth wasn't great, and those are two things that the Academy likes. So, yeah, it's unfortunate that that's not here. But uh, there's other directors that had better years than Ruben Ostland, unfortunately. I like Ruben Ostland, but that just wasn't his strongest feature. Okay, next up, best supporting actress. Angela Bassett for Black Panther, Carrie Condon for Banshees, Jamie Lee Curtis for Everything, uh, Stephanie Hsu for Everything, and Hung Chow for The Whale. Wow, we got some uh, good uh, diversity in this list. I'm not making a joke. Uh, that's actually cool for for Hung Chow and uh, Stephanie Hsu, if that's how you pronounce them. That's really cool. The Whale is, uh, Hung Chow is absolutely fantastic in that movie, so that's cool to see her here. Um, Stephanie Hsu is great. Uh, Jamie Lee Curtis is great, but I don't think they'll win. I think Carrie Condon or Angela Bassett has the strongest chance to win, even though I didn't haven't seen Wakanda forever, and I won't, because don't care. Chadwick Boseman, rest in peace. You're a cool guy, but that movie looks bad. Carrie Condon, though, is awesome, so that would be my pick, Carrie Condon. Oh, no! Oh, son of a bitch, what have I done? Okay, so best supporting actor, Brendan Gleeson, Banshees of Inisherin, Brian Tyree Henry for Causeway, Jude Hirsch? Jude Hirsch. My brain just had a malfunction. <laughs> Jude Hirsch is an easy name, bro. Gary, Barry Keoghan for the... And I can say that, fine. Banshees of Inner Sheeran and ki Hu Kwan for everything. That's good. That's cool to see him there, too. Awesome. Uh, I haven't seen Causeway, but uh, my pick would probably be Brendan Gleeson or Barry Keoghan. It's Banshees of Inner It's got the best performances of the year. What the fuck? What are we doing? Just give it to one of them. And I've done it again. And I've done it again, and I've gotten off the list. Okay, here we go. Uh, we're going to skip documentary. Best adapted screenplay, Living. God damn it. It's everywhere. Why is Living here? Because now I feel pressure to see it. Uh, Top Gun Maverick, okay. Best adapted. Was Top Gun Maverick like a book or something? Why is this adapted? What am I missing? Because it's a sequel? It's an adapted screenplay? Okay, whatever. Women Talking, that's still not out for me yet. I think it's out this week, though. Glass Onion, uh, that's adapted, too? Okay, I'm completely lost. All Quiet on the Western Front. Okay, yeah, I knew that was going to be everywhere. All Quiet is absolutely fantastic. I think that's my pick. Uh, All Quiet on the Western Front. Do I think it will win? I have a sneaking suspicion living will win. But I really honestly don't care. <laughs> Best production design skips, costume skip, original screenplay. Here we go. All right. Best original screenplay, everything, everywhere, all at once. Banshees of Inishirin, Triangle of Sadness, Fablemans, and Tar. Fablemans isn't adapted. It's adapted from Spielberg's life, right? I'm just confused. It's not a good movie anyway, so I just shoo that away. But... The Oscars love Steven Spielberg, and they love those biopic or semi-autobiographical movies. If it wins, I'm going to be so sad. Oh. If The Fableman beats out Tar, everything, everywhere, all at once, and The Banshees of Inisherin, dude. Oh, I mean, they've lost all credibility for me anyway at this point, but God, they can't do that. Please don't do that. They're going to do it, though. Banshees should win, or Tar. I'm, I'm all in on Tar, honestly. Let's get Tar up there. Best Cinematography is Empire of Light, Roger Deakins. Movie sucks. All Quiet on the Western Front. Bardo. Hey, okay. Elvis, Tar. Wow, Bardo being here is awesome, actually. 
I love Roger Deakins, and he's kind of uh, become a, a critical darling recently, so he could win. But All Quiet on the Western Front, Bardo and Tar. Wow, that's some heavy competition, honestly. Mm, my pick would be probably Bardo. Yeah, I'm going to pick Bardo, but I think it's either going to be Roger Deakins or Florian Hoffmeister for Tar. Which are good picks, honestly. I'm not. I wouldn't be opposed to that. But I'm gonna. I'm gonna pick Bardo for myself. I like Bardo's cinematography. Uh, skip editing. I don't give a shit. Best documentary. Best makeup. Oh, okay. Wait. Did I do best picture? I don't think I did best picture. Hang on. It just stopped. The end. The list stopped. <sighs> Jesus Christ. Now I have to go to another website. I kill myself. Okay. Um. And I'm pissed. All these ads. Yay, dude. Okay, get me out of here. This is a complete disaster. Best picture nominations 2023. Just get me something. Okay. I gotta get back to Sundance, too. I'm losing time here. Got a lot to see. Okay, actor, actress, actor, animated. Oh, my. This sucks. This sucks. I hate the Academy website. I was trying to avoid it. I know I'm here. Should have just done it from the start. Oh, 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 because best picture's in the middle of the list. For no reason. The best picture's in the middle of the website. For no reason. It's not at the top or the bottom. Just in the middle. Okay, best picture. All quiet on the Western Front. Wow! Good for... Avatar. Avatar. Why in God's green earth is Avatar on best picture? It literally is not nominated for anything else that I've seen. No directing, no screenplay, but best picture? What are we doing, you know? What are we doing here? Banshees have been a Sharon. Elvis? What are we doing? Elvis? For best picture? What are we doing? All right, everything, everywhere, all at once. The Fablemans, Tar, Top Gun Maverick, Triangle of Sadness, and Women Talking. This list is ass. Wow. This list is asshole. Okay. I don't like this list. I am shocked that All Quiet on the Western Front is here, though. I, I think my review of it went on Letterboxd when I first saw it was, if this was an American movie, it would win all the Academy Awards. And I guess it's just good enough to win all the Academy Awards. So that's cool for them, honestly. I think that movie is awesome. Avatar and Elvis, though, dude. The Academy really just likes movies that are critical acclaim that not, not critical acclaim but praised by fans and that it make money if if a movie has enough word of mouth it's gonna get pissed i mean no i'm don't don't call me racist here but remember black panther getting nominated for best picture remember that did that movie deserve best picture i don't think anybody would say it did so yeah not a good list here i mean most of this most of these awards are like Kind of expected or fine, but wow, Best Picture is a shit show. Okay, um, I think the the odds-on favorite here is probably the Fablemans or the Western Front or maybe Banshees of Inisherin. Uh, out of these, I, I'd pick Tar though. I think Tar is the best movie here, or Everything Everywhere All at Once. Those are my top two movies of this year. Spoilers for my Best of the Year list. I still am trudging through the mud on that. I have a bunch more that I have to watch to finish my best of the year list, but I had to take a break to watch freaking Sundance movies all day because for no good reason, they decided that, oh, the online stuff is just gonna be one day now. Just one day now. So I have to watch everything in one day. So here we are. Yeah, okay, bye. Oscars once again, have, they have failed me and that's expected. And I'm sad, but I have, Taco Bell wings to eat and a bunch of Sundance movies to watch. So I'm going to get back to that. Goodbye.